colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, good morning to all of you. What a venue, what a day, what a great audience here. I'm really excited to welcome you as Secretary General through your thoughts, your reflections, your insights, and your creativity contribute to making this event a success. A success and that we make a great step forwards towards building a united library field. Because as you know, IFLA is on a journey, on a journey of transformation to a more inclusive and participatory organization. We have chosen a mirror mosaic at the background for this year's event. You may have seen it as you arrived at the airport, but it is more as a tribute to this marvelous city and the fantastic people of this country. As a surrealist, Miro was fascinated by the subconscious, by dreams. Evelyn's work to build a united library field is less as a dream than a vision. Over the past year, we have been working to define this. Something we can articulate, something we can share, something we can rally around. And I'm very proud to say that at the end of the day, we will the whole summary phase of the IFLA vision. It's your ideas and it's your contribution that have made this possible. In the last year, I have taken part in the kickoff meeting, six regional meetings and discussions at the World Library and Information Congress. Athens, Washington, Yaoundé, Alexandria, Buenos Aires, Madrid, Singapore, What's Love versus Stations. I have seen and talked with many hundreds of you. But you have taken up the challenge in a way I could never have anticipated. You have made the vision your own. Over 22,000 people from seven continents voted online, and nearly 10,000 took part in 185 workshops and contributions set up by our members and our sections. And all this is in one report you will hear today at the end. The great step we will make here in Barcelona is towards turning vision to reality. We need to develop actions because vision without executions is hallucination. The process will not be completed this week and is not limited to these walls. There will be many opportunities to take part in the coming months. You, your sections, our members, librarians from all parts of the world will be invited to get involved to build the biggest idea stores for actions, a source of inspiration for all librarians and for IFLA in planning the future. Because to make the step forwards from vision to reality, we don't just need tens of thousands of librarians, we need millions. The image of this meeting, this mosaic, should be a model for us. Each of you, each of you, each of your institutions, each of your associations, each of you contributes to a whole. Each of you is needed to create a powerful, united library field. Today is just the beginning, and now is the beginning of the beginning. To start this next phase, we need to be inspired. We need to, be, to draw on the strengths, both within our sector and outside of it. Because in building our future, we cannot only look to ourselves. Libraries are unique, but they cannot be isolated. Our institutions are a source and home of so many great ideas, but we also have to be open to the ideas of others. Our program today gives 
us a great opportunity to do this. Our speakers will open up new angles and highlight new possibilities. You will, I hope, not just pick up new ideas, but also have new ways of thinking about the future we face. They may be reassuring, they may be difficult, they may be troubling, but they will help us on our way. They will give us the tools we need to start building. I mentioned at the beginning, in August 2017, IFLA got its first ever president from a Spanish-speaking country. You will all know Gloria very well, I'm sure. She has been working to build better library services and perceptions of libraries successfully throughout her career. Ifla is lucky to have such a person with such an energy, such ideas, and such ambition leading us the way. I want, therefore, to invite IFLA's president, Gloria Perez Salmoron, to the stage. Please welcome our president with a warm applause. Hola, bon dia. Thank you, Gero, authorities, colleagues, friends. For some who does a lot of traveling as part of my work with IFLA, it's really a pleasure to have IFLA to come to me for a change. <laughs> Welcome to Barcelona, everybody. That's not to say that it's been easy. Gero, you offer your thanks to Diputación de Barcelona for hosting us in this wonderful museum, Museum Maritim, and to the team from FESAVIT who have made this possible. And can only repeat this and thank yourself at the IFLA team as well. You know, I know perfectly how much time and effort you have put in it. So you have done really a good, incredible job. Thank you. Thank you to uh, my colleagues in Culture and Libraries Department of Diputación de Barcelona, to Madame Conesa, our president, and Marta Cano, the then of the libraries in Barcelona province. Uh, we couldn't have done this without you. Thank you. I know that we have a very busy schedule, but I encourage you all to take whatever time you can do to explore our nice city. Enjoy it. Enjoy the city. Look, libraries are motors of change. When I decided to run as IFRA president, this was the message I wanted to share. It's also on the title of our meeting today. It's a message built on a personal conviction, a personal engagement. But it's also a message built on evidence from Catalonia, from my work across Spain, Europe, the Latin America and Caribbean region, and from around the world. Because it's my experience that libraries don't need to be victims of change. They don't even just to have a sprint to keep up with it, but that they can drive it, they can drive the change. The change is coming, is happening, and is inevitable. I believe that libraries would have to what it takes to drive it to lead it, and we are duty to do so. This is because libraries can make the difference. They can ensure the change that people experience is positive, that it brings them benefits, that it improves their lives. By improving access to information, I mean meaningful access to information, libraries inform, empower, and enable people. As IFLA has underlined its words of development and access to information, access cannot be meaningful if just is about cables, computers, or cell phones. Access must include the ability to understand and apply and create information, and this requires support. Support 
education, training, advice, or simply hand-holding, because in the end, it's down to the individual. Each individual needs to be the knowledge and the skills, the attitudes and confidence necessary to navigate the ocean of the information they face. To find a better and more secure job, to advance a science and research, to learn how best to feed and support a family, to build a literate, informate and participatory society. Libraries are all about development from the bottom up. Because it's only when citizens, all citizens, are able to take better decisions for themselves than, and their communities that development can be truly sustainable. When they can find and apply knowledge, when they can uh, take a critical approach uh, to what they read, when they don't need to be told what to do or what not to do, when they don't fear about or who, they don't know, but can meet the new experiences and people with confidence, optimism, and open mind. These efforts are in increasingly urgent. The cost of being on the wrong side of the digital, digital divide are growing. Too many live in situations of information poverty, starved of news, unable to connect with family and friends, prevented from exercising their human right to benefit from scientific advances and taking part in the cultural life of the community. As President Macron recently suggested, to be starved of ideas, of creativity, of knowledge, is to be placed under house arrest, he said, as in a residence. Uninformed, unfulfilled, unfree, libraries are the key. For disadvantaged groups, they need for a safe, welcoming place, safe by professionals, providing access to knowledge has never been greater. Libraries offer all of this. To continue to do so, they must be ready to move. We owe it to our users to keep going, to keep up, to keep ahead of this game. Yet to drive change externally, we must change internally, as our Secretary General, Gerald Lehner, has underlined. IFLA is on, is on a journey itself. We are aiming to lead the way and build a united library field, one that is fit for the future and has the tools, talents, and attitudes to pursue our common values effectively and every sitting any level, all kind of levels. One that delivers on our duties, our mission, just as access to information helps the users to improve their lives. Access also can help and helps really us to improve our field, our library field and our institutions as well. Just like any other motto, the motors of change need fuel needs benzene, needs gas, to run. Ideas and science, inspiration. And well, they have plenty of this here today. We have ideas and science and inspiration. So more than ever, I hope that the 2018 IFLAS president meeting will offer new challenges and perspectives new ways of thinking about the challenges and doubts that stand before, about the future and what it may look like, about how we can shape it. And just as, as libraries have a duty to support their communities, we need you, all of you, to take this in science on board and to bring it to your own. The success of the discussions we will have in over the coming days, weeks and months depend on it. At critical time in IFLA on development, we need everyone 
to be engaged in this and empowered to make the maximum contribution possible. Over the coming hours, we will hear speakers from the worlds of academia and business, government and, so and social innovation, consultancy and technology, journalism and publishing, speakers who will challenge us to see our institutions, not just a bachelor line within education or cultural policies, but as champions of a social innovation, leading the way towards a fair society where no one is left behind. As pillars of regional development, ensuring that not only cities, but towns and villages can also be smart. As cornerstones of public health, helping people live longer, better lives and taking the pressure of primary care. As guardians of a healthy internet, making sure that no one forgets the importance of free speech and access to information. Our speakers will share stories of unexpected partnerships, unlikely successes, and unconventional approaches. They have led change. They won, have won awards and influenced others. After the break, we will have the honor to hear Marcel Cornesa i Pagès, President de la Diputació de Barcelona, the Regional Provincial Council, my boss, who with uh, both welcome you to my wonderful hometown and share her own vision of how libraries are making the difference. I encourage you all to think, to understand, and keep the lessons you learned today in your own work and in the contributions you will make to building a library field fit for the future, in good shape. And to start, we have a keynote speaker who will push us to think beyond trends and rather to build scenarios of what the future will look like. Scenarios that help to understand the uncertainties we're facing. Designing the strategies, what is to, into account, and shape what is to come. So, fill up your tanks, get your minds in gear, and let's start. Thank you. Que tingueu molt bon dia.